what is going on guys welcome back to another video so in the last video we finally had the uh, turbo in so exhaust manifold downpipe dump tube and yeah it is looking amazing in here uh the fitment is pretty much on point so in this video uh, i'm finally going to be tackling the fuel system so fuel rail uh and the fuel pump pretty much let's go ahead and get to work so i'm going to do the fuel pump first since that is pretty easy and straightforward so go ahead and do that So I got the fuel uh, pump out. The fuel pump is gonna be sitting in here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, open this up and swap out the stock fuel pump to the Walbro 450. So let's go ahead and get to that. So this is the stock fuel pump and this is what's gonna go in this is the Walbro 450 so look i did have to buy an adapter since we're not gonna use this one anymore so this is the adapter and yeah gonna pop this right in put the filter on the bottom and we should be good to go guys so finally got the fuel pump in i was having some issue with this uh little guy right here just uh couldn't get it to the right length where uh it will you know connect together since you have to press it in to get one of the ring in here so if you make this line too long you can't do that if it's too short it won't reach either so i think i got it to a good length now so Let's go ahead and drop this into the fuel tank and yeah, we should be done with the fuel pump. And now it's time to do the fuel rail injector and route all the lines. So let's go ahead and get to work.
so I took out the um, stock fuel rail and stock injector and also that uh, all of those uh, aluminum piping that goes from here to the bag and yeah everything just looks a lot more cleaner as you guys can see so what I'm gonna do is get the new injector in the new fuel rail in and then reroute all the fuel lines so let's go ahead and do that Alright, so I think this is how I'm gonna connect all the lines. So pretty uh, just trying to keep it as basic as possible. So here is gonna be the feed line. Uh, comes in from here, you can see. And then it goes into the uh, inline fuel filter, into the rail, into the injectors. And then this will be the return line coming now. Goes into the regulator and then back into, and then the return line is gonna be in the bottom here. And then go, this is just gonna connect to uh, the other holes on here. So yeah, I think this is how I'm gonna uh, set it up. So everything is coming along pretty nicely. I did do uh, two of the vacuum lines. So vacuum line is hooked up. Don't need to do the injector. So get these out and then swap these in. All right, so the fuel system for the car is finally done. Uh, pretty much, I uh, have the Wabro 450 for the fuel pump in the rear. Everything is hooked up. Uh, and as for the front here, I have the AMS fuel rail with AMS fuel pressure regulator. And as for the injector, these are FIC 1650cc uh, injector. And then map performance inline fuel filter. So just try to keep everything uh, pretty basic. So pretty much, uh, from the main uh, feed line, it's coming up here. It will be this guy going into the uh, map performance inline fuel filter, into the rail, onto the injectors, and then out this line as the return line into the regulator, and then from the regulator uh, out from the bottom to the return line. So yeah, everything is hooked up, uh, tying it down. So pretty much the fuel system is done. So what's next is to hook up the uh, do a uh, wastegate to the boost controller, do the oil feed and oil return line for the turbo. I haven't tightened down the turbo yet because I'm still waiting on a uh, uh, speed circuit XXL heat shield for the bag. So once I got that, the turbo and everything will be tightened down. All right guys, so stay tuned for the next video because we might just 
start this thing up. And yeah, if you're enjoying the build so far, uh, give it a like and subscribe if you want to see this thing do its first start on the big turbo kit. Peace out.